hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well if this is your first time here you are welcome click that subscribe button down there and click the bell anytime i post a new video you'll be notified today i'm gonna share with you guys a gambian version of millet flower donuts like or you can call it new panketo or panketi dugo or all of call it panketi dugo mandinka call it new panketo the ingredients are here as you can see i'm gonna mix the millet flour and plain flour plain flour those are the ingredients but i need um i will show you guys the egg i will add one egg flour milk milk powder yeast dry yeast sugar nutmeg vanilla and yeah those are the ingredients very simple and easy <laughs> the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the millet flour i'm using two cup of millet flour and one and a half cup of plain flour then i will add milk powder then sugar one cup of sugar and dry yeast and nutmeg then I will add salt. Salt is gonna balance everything, bring all the flavors together and salt. And I'm gonna mix it together, all the dry ingredients to combine before I add the wet ingredients, basically the milk and egg. I'm just gonna put it aside, then I'm mix the egg it's important to mix it very well all the dry ingredients combined then now i'm just gonna mix the egg then now i will mix the wet ingredients egg and milk and vanilla extra then mix it i'm just gonna mix it then i will add it mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients together. Then I will add the milk and mix it. Or if you want, you can use water. It's going to work very well. But I just want to make it more flavorful. That's why I'm using this over like the milk and the milk powder. <laughs> it's a nice combination. You can use water, like back home we use water, and it's very tasty. And, uh, if you feel like your mixer is a little bit wet, just add a little bit of flour. I just add a little bit of flour. If you are not happy with the consistency, then I'm just going to cover it with clean film. Let it sit for one and a half hour. And then let it sit for one and a half hour. You will see bubbles with the yeast and cover it with tea towel to cover it very well. And then let it sit for one and a half hour. After one and a half hour, you can see the dough, the mix of the donuts. Uh, they are ready now. I just the oil is ready. I already put the oil to fry the donuts. You can see the bubbles. The oil is ready. Lots of oil deep frying. We need oil. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna fry the donuts. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use two spoons more easier to fry the donut just one spoon just like that very easy <laughs> one spoon and I just drop it in just gently be careful with the oil frying donuts you have to be careful 
don't be too close to the oil, it's not safe. Just be careful while doing it. Just overcrowding the pan. You can see. Now I'm just gonna let it cook for four minutes, four to five minutes. Then now I'm just fluffing it. I'm just using the stick. It's help to get the donuts. You don't have to do that, but I just like to use the stick with the donuts. Then after another five minutes, then I'm just flipping it. Now it's time to take them out. They are done. They, cook. they have to cook too. If you cook the donuts with high temperature, they will not cook too. It's important with your oil temperature. Now I'm just going to take the donuts out. And I will put the second batch. I'm making a lot. Donut. Then, yeah, basically that's all from me today. If you like this video, don't forget to be give big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.